Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to make it make sense yes we're going to give you an article that was written on Atlanta Black Star platform uh, Angelina Vesquez wrote it out for us they saying Rick Ross is going to put an amusement park uh, on his property similarly like Michael Jackson did and we know how that went but we'll go on and read and see what they got to say about Rick Ross and his amusement park. Okay. They titled it Fennel Build an Amusement Park on a Property. Rick Ross celebrates becoming a grandfather after daughter Toey gives birth. Fans joke about the ways he will spoil the grandchild. Okay. Rick Ross has good reason to pop bottles after announcing that he is a grandfather. The Port of Miami rapper shared the celebratory news that his daughter, Toei Ashanti, had given birth in a video posted to his IG story. The Gucci grandpa uncorks a bottle of Bel Air uh, Blue champagne and proceeds to pour it from a balcony while in London. He is heard saying, I gotta burst this because you know why. I, I'm now a grandfather. I'm like, okay. Make it do what it do. Okay. In May, the eldest of Ross's four children celebrated the impending birth of her first child with a whimsically uh, themed baby shower. The decor included green bush light arches, intentionally placed foliage and flowers a cake adorned with cascading butterflies and blue cocktails that may have been a gender clue neither ross nor to uh, toey had publicly confirmed whether the newest addition to the family is a boy or girl online fans offered up congratulatory messages some also made mention of how spoiled the child may be with rick ross as his granddaughter baby about to be Three and a half months old, eating mild wings from Wingstop, joke one person. Rouse is a franchise owner with more than two dozen Wingstop's locations in his portfolio. Last year, the Robert Entrepreneur, uh, Robert's third, a Wingstop for his 16th birthday. Hmm. Give it, uh, gifting him a business. Now, what, Rick, if the boy didn't want to work in a restaurant? But... He can have somebody run it for him, and he can still keep most of the profits. Going back to the article, it says, That kid hit the genetic lottery, said one. Another comment included, Generational wealth, something our world is not really used to. Congratulations, boss. This Igga finna build an amusement park on a property now, wrote another one. Why not? Michael Jackson built one on his land laughing emoji commenting a person in response ross lavish spending has turned heads in the last few years on social he was shown off uh, his fleet of classic cars farm animals and exotic animals he planned to keep at the zoo plan for his property it's likely that whatever ways the miami native plans to shower his grandchild He'll have both the financial means and space to make it happen. Ross's property, located just outside Atlanta in Fayetteville, Georgia, boasts 235 acres, dubbed the Promised Land. The um, estate also serves as the location of Ross's equally expansive home. All right, so I guess Rick Ross is taking a page out of Michael Jackson's book. Hopefully there will be no children other than his grandchildren and his friends' children when they are accompanying them when he puts up this amusement park, okay? Because we don't want no little people up in there trying to forge no type of narrative that he may be trying to do what they tried to make us believe MJ did, okay? I'm just saying. 
But if you got all that kind of money, that is right. Why go to Six Flags over Georgia? Why go to Disneyland when you can have it right in your back door? Mm-hmm. With all the operating gear, the engineers will come out. I wonder if he's going to put a choo-choo train out there for people to ride, okay, across the land and be able to get back without, you know, woo, needing a horse to travel back to the front doors, okay? So ain't nobody got time for all that walking. Shoot. Uh, Rick already cut his lawn, his grass, even though he got a ride lawn mower, but still. I'm like, okay, you ain't got nothing but time. I can see that. I can see that. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Uh, and I'll see y'all next one. Bye-bye.